Hello fellow train enthusiasts, thank you for visiting. This educational and hopefully information series of videos will explain in full detail about how to transmit a Raspberry Pi running JMRI to a Digitrax based system wirelessly. I'm a member of an N-Scale model train club, specifically the North Texas T-Track. We travel to different train shows as many other clubs do and spend a large Part of our time in the morning setting up the layout, which includes the electrical connections and the train running platforms, including the layout itself. Vic McTee, a fellow train member, and I brainstormed this concept, which was initially based on a simple question. From an electrical aspect, is there a way to set up any given size train layout in a simplified, easier, and more time efficient manner? I mean, Sometimes your brain just hurts trying to figure out all of the gremlins during that initial portion of the setup. That's Vic back there in the blue shirt. Most of our electronics were stored in a couple of toolboxes with stuff just crammed, in, crammed into them as seen in the next few slides. Vic and I came up with an idea called the Rolling Command Station, or RCS. This project will not only allow us to set up any given layout quickly and efficiently, but the RCS has modern technology within it to allow you to run both DC and DCC from any smartphone, smart pad, or just your regular Digitrax controllers. The RCS is Digitrax base and will feed a JMRI signal to the layout from a Raspberry Pi. This video series will include how to set up your Raspberry Pi with JMRI, connecting it to a Digitrax based system, and building your own RCS for your own club. I broke the RCS build down into three simplified phases. Phase 1 Electrical Components. There will be eight rear connections. Four for DCC district connections with the option of connecting two to four independent DC loops. We're going to connect six foot gender neutral cables, cables, power poles, Anderson power poles, with a power drop about every six feet on our layout. During the series, I'll explain what gender neutral power poles are. Of course, there'll be UP access on both the front and the back of the RCS. Phase two, mobility hence the name, Rolling Command Station. The height of the box, which is a rolling toolbox, measures about 30 inches tall. The top portion of the RCS is independent, which means the individual box component can separate for transporting, for example, for those who may be older or who, for those who cannot lift heavy items due to other health-related problems. Everything in the box will be stationary for transport, meaning you can lay the box on its back without worry about damaging the uh, inside electrical components. Phase three, user interaction, DC, DCC. In our club, everything is Digitrax based. With JMRI, you can use your Digitrax controllers or mobile devices to control your trains. We will run DC trains with dedicated five amp DCC decoders per isolated loop. Raspberry Pi will run JMRI with Wi-Fi automatically and I'll explain a step-by-step -step setup in later videos. The total cost for the bill was around $700, so if your club has a capability to budget for this, it may be something that your club could benefit from. Our club, fortunately, has a sizable budget due to the quantity of shows that we have been invited to over the years. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and be patient with responses as I do not check my YouTube account frequently. After my final series of videos, I'll include my email so that you can contact me directly for whatever reasons or questions you may have. I'll mention their names again in subsequent videos, but I would like to thank a couple of individuals that have been corresponding with me over the past few weeks. I personally like to thank Alex Kolesnikov at dcctrain.com, 
who worked with me as a sounding board regarding the connections for the Raspberry Pi to the Digitrack system. He has a Raspberry Pi Sprog on his website for those who want to run a smaller home layout. The Pi Sprog Complete comes with all the necessary parts to run trains wirelessly on your smaller layout, but for our purposes, I had to tweak the RPI commands, which will I will also thoroughly walk you through in this series. We are utilizing a Raspberry Pi 3B for our build that communicates with the Digitrax command station. They now carry a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, which basically just has a faster processor um, than that of the plain B version. But for our purposes, it serves its needed function. We are also utilizing the local buffer USB Rev O purchased from DCC Train for our build. I'd also like to thank Steve Todd, who was pivotal in helping me tweak the setup of the Raspberry Pi and its commands. He has a website that can be located under Google search Steve, S T E V E, uh, space Todd, T O D D, that's T O D D. Uh, Raspberry Pi, so it's Steve Todd Raspberry Pi, and the heading on the search which reads JMRI Raspberry Pi as access point. His webpage gives you something, uh, excuse me, gives you some important Raspberry Pi setup information. One of the most important features of his dedicated site was a zipped image file for setting up JMRI on any hardware platform uh, through the Raspberry Pi. Uh, which includes local buffer, USB, PR3, Sprog, NCE serial, NCE USB, and DCC++. And again, that's all through the Raspberry Pi. It automatically uh, finds the hardware and loads it for you, which is amazing. He did a, a great job with that. Again, I will provide detail on how to load this from your computer to your Raspberry Pi. Thank you, Steve, for all your time and hard work you put into that web page development. At home, I use a Mac, but for running trains or utilizing DCC software, I find it easier to use my Dell laptop. In the series, I will try to remember to include a cost sheet, which probably I'll take a photo of it, and a photo of all the individual hardware items I used for the actual RCS build. You don't need to be proficient at soldering, but it will help if you des decide to do the full build versus just doing the Pi Sprog, because that's a dedicated power system on the Pi Sprog. I'll probably discuss building the Raspberry Pi 3 first, as it can be used by any train enthusiast and across all gauges. I thank you for your interest in this video, and I look forward to seeing you in training class.